Hello, hello, hello everybody! And welcome if you're new here, and welcome back if you've seen my previous videos or a current subscriber. My name is Adriana, I'm a certified personal trainer, and here on my YouTube channel I talk about PCOS, do at home slash gym workouts, and what we're doing today is making some of my favorite meals that I like to make. And today we're going to be making garlic roasted petite potatoes. I'm using the Melody version, so the colorful tiny potatoes, all different colors. I already washed them beforehand. So let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, my microphone just got stuck. Alrighty, let's get into this. I need to get my nails done this week. I don't know if you can see it. Ah, uh, well, it's like it for a filming cinematic. Whoops. Anyways, kind of popping off. I have my garlic cloves right here. They're pretty big. I'm only using five. I'll get to those later. But first, what we want to do is chop up our little meldy potatoes, and you want to put them like quartery. Again, we don't want like massive pieces like this. And you'll put them into a side bowl, which I have right next to it. And we're going to do that to all of the potatoes. Potato, potato, tomato, tomato. Alrighty, now that our potatoes are chopped up, we're gonna go ahead and mince our garlic. So I have my little mincer. I already took off all the skin off the garlic cloves. Go ahead and see if it's gonna cooperate with me today. Look at that. Now that we're done with the garlic, we're gonna go ahead and add some salt. Let me uncap this. I should have uncapped it earlier. Can't make potatoes with salt without salt. You need it. Ah! Why doesn't this one want to open? Oh, I got it. I'm just. I got do some black cracked pepper. We love our seasonings. Even though these seasonings are pretty much basic. Again, no one really wants plain potatoes either. Now, before we mix everything in, just a little bit of olive oil. That, that's good. Want we'll to make sure that everything is coated evenly as we mix everything together. Actually, I forgot to add one seasoning. I don't know how I managed to forget it. Shame on me, but we forgot to add some Italian seasoning into this. Whoops. Now we could get back into our mixing. Sorry guys. Now we get to put this on a foil lined pan sheet, baking pan. Already had it prepared, so I'm gonna put this on here. Make sure all the potatoes are out. Spread it across evenly. 
make some room in between them. Make sure they're not piled on top of each other. Yay, perfect. Alrighty, now that we got our potatoes here on our baking sheet, I already preheated the oven to 400 degrees. So we're gonna put our potatoes in there for a total of 40 minutes, 40, 45, until it turns like brown on the outside. That's when you know they're ready. But halfway through, we are gonna flip them over and turn them around so they bake evenly. Let's go. Get in there. Holy shit, sometimes we forget how hot 400 degrees is. So are we watching that? All right, the potatoes are done getting roasted. Try to make sure this doesn't get blurred. We're gonna let them cool off before we could try them. Alrighty, our potatoes are ready. Hopefully it doesn't get too loud. I did have to open my balcony door because they're smelling a little too garlicky in here for my liking. And I don't wanna, yeah, everything be like smell like garlic. And no smart garlic on food smells amazing, but like on my living area, not so much. But we're gonna go into our taste test. I love them. My heart is so happy. I love potatoes. These taste delicious. I'm excited for having a part of my meal prep today. Well, and tomorrow. You know, a piece of potato stuck in my tooth. Kind of awkward talking. Now it's gone. Tastes amazing. I love it. Highly recommend you trying this recipe at each of your dinners, your lunches, or your meal prep. You just taste the garlic in it. It has the Italian seasoning. It's just phenomenal. And if you've enjoyed this recipe, go ahead and give this video a like. And if you want to see more videos just like this or keep up with PCOS so you don't miss, miss out future videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. Plus, it's a free way to show support towards me and my channel so I can continue doing videos just like this and showing you guys new recipes, at-home workouts, and more topics on PCOS. And of course, I'll be doing more vlogs. I'm hoping soon I'll be able to do a grocery haul vlog and just kind of walk you through everything on how I decide which food I'm going to be uh, buying and what I'm going to be making throughout the week. So that's going to be super exciting. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.